Hey, book lovers. Welcome back to Meg's Literary Lounge, your go-to spot for diving deep into the heart of romance literature. Today, we're cozying up with a trope that's as deliciously inevitable as it is intimate, the only one bed scenario. You know the drill, two characters, one room, and, oh, what's this? Only one bed. Whether it's a snowed-in cabin, a last-minute hotel booking gone awry, or a twist of fate in a sprawling mansion, this setup never fails to bring our characters closer in the most intriguing ways. So grab your favorite blanket and a cup of tea, because we're about to explore some of the most heart-fluttering, only-one-bed romance books that will keep you up reading all night long. Let's get started. Rhett had clear instructions. Stay away from his agent's daughter and avoid any trouble. But now he's in a bind. With only one bed and a growing attraction, those rules seem destined to be broken. Once the face of professional bull riding, Rhett's reputation has taken a hit. To salvage his image, his agent insists on assigning his daughter, Summer, as Rhett's full-time supervisor for the season. Rhett resents the idea of being babysat, especially by someone as feisty and captivating as Summer. Despite her warnings about boundaries, Rhett finds himself drawn to her. He can't shake the thought of her, even as she tries to keep him at arm's length. For Summer, Rhett is more than just a fling. She sees beyond his public persona and wants to protect her heart from further damage. But Rhett is determined to break down her defenses and win her over, regardless of the risks involved. Hallie Piper is on a mission to reinvent herself. Emerging from the depths of rock bottom, she's determined to embrace adulthood wholeheartedly. With a new apartment, a fresh haircut, and a revamped wardrobe, she's ready to take charge of her life. But when she delves into a dating app in search of her perfect match, she comes face to face with Jack, the very guy she made a swift exit from not too long ago. Despite their mutual agreement that they're not interested in each other, Jack and Hallie find themselves drawn together through the app. They embark on a unique partnership, supporting each other in their quest to find true love. Sharing their dating experiences via text, they often rendezvous for tacos after their respective dates, resulting in a surplus of shared meals. However, as their searches for love yield disappointing results, Jack and Hallie strike a wager to see who can find their soulmate first. Yet, when they agree to pose as a couple at a weekend wedding, their carefully constructed facade begins to unravel. As lines blur and emotions intensify, they struggle to resist the undeniable chemistry between them, questioning why they ever thought the other was a bad idea in the first place. Dr. Brianna Ortiz's life seems to be spiraling downward. With a pending divorce, her brother in dire need of a kidney donor, and her coveted promotion slipping away, things couldn't get much worse. To top it off, the new doctor, Jacob Maddox, is rubbing her the wrong way. But everything changes when Brianna receives a heartfelt letter from Jacob, revealing a side she never expected. As they exchange letters and share intimate lunch dates, Brianna discovers Jacob's endearing qualities, despite his initial impression. When Jacob offers to donate a kidney to save her brother's life, Brianna finds herself drawn to him in ways she never imagined. Can she resist the charm of this enigmatic doctor, especially when he calls in a favor she can't turn down? Sometimes, life throws the worst days at us, leaving us to navigate the aftermath. Clementine devises a strategy to shield her heart. Keep busy, work diligently, find someone decent to love, and hold on to the whimsical notion of chasing the moon. While the latter may seem whimsical and metaphorical, her aunt insisted that having one big dream was essential for survival. For the past year, Clementine's plan has unfolded smoothly, except for the love part, which poses a challenge as she fears getting too close to anyone. Then, she discovers a peculiar man standing in her late aunt's kitchen. He possesses kind eyes, a southern accent, and a penchant for lemon pies, the kind of man Clementine would have easily fallen for, but there's a catch. He belongs to the past, precisely seven years ago, while Clementine inhabits the present. Her aunt always described the apartment as a portal through time, where moments melded together like watercolors. Clementine understands that giving her heart to this man would spell disaster, because love isn't merely a matter of time. It's about timing. Millie embarks on a mission to fulfill her elderly friend's final wish by reuniting her with a lost love from decades ago. Carrying the ashes of Mrs. Nash, Millie sets off on a road trip from D.C. to Key West, hoping to reaffirm her belief in true love along the way. 
Unexpectedly joined by Hollis, a cynical writer, after a flight glitch, Millie finds herself navigating quirky bed and breakfasts, eccentric town festivals, and strange wildlife encounters. Despite Hollis's skepticism, their journey begins to unravel hidden depths as they grow closer. As they draw nearer to their destination, Millie realizes that the trip isn't just about fulfilling Mrs. Nash's love story, it's about discovering her own. Hannah Brooks may appear more suited to a classroom than a battlefield, but don't let her gentle demeanor fool you. She's an elite bodyguard with lethal skills. Her latest assignment? Protecting a Hollywood heartthrob from a relentless stalker. Jack Stapleton, the epitome of a Hollywood superstar, finds himself returning to his family's Texas ranch when his mother falls ill. Desperate to keep his stalker and the truth about his protection detail hidden from his family, Jack enlists Hannah to pose as his girlfriend. As Hannah reluctantly agrees to the charade, she realizes that shielding Jack from physical harm is the easy part. However, safeguarding her own heart proves to be a far greater challenge. As their facade deepens, Hannah finds herself falling for Jack against her better judgment. Protecting him may be her duty, but protecting her own heart may prove to be her toughest assignment yet. Ellie finds herself stranded in a roadside motel room with the last person she wants to be stuck with, Johnny Lupo. Trapped together by the blizzard of the century, Ellie grapples with sharing close quarters with Johnny, whom she's known all her life and associates with bad luck. As tensions rise between them, fueled by undeniable chemistry, Ellie's defenses begin to thaw, leading to a passionate night that results in an unexpected pregnancy. While Johnny pledges to do the right thing, Ellie wrestles with her fears of settling for less. However, as Johnny reveals glimpses of the man he could be and the family they could have together, Ellie is torn between her fears and the possibility of a future with him. Despite her reservations, Ellie can't deny the growing connection between them. Halsey finds himself in a complicated situation when his teammates, aware of his feelings for Blakely White, arrange for them to become roommates. Despite his initial reluctance, Halsey is overwhelmed by his love for Blakely and the well-intentioned advice of his friends. As he navigates his feelings for Blakely, Halsey makes a bold move by offering to be her fake date for a wedding to make her ex jealous. For one night, he revels in the opportunity to be close to her, but as the evening draws to a close, he's faced with a difficult choice, to reveal his true feelings or risk losing her forever. Winifred Wynne McNulty has always been wildly independent, not one to be coddled for her limb difference, Wynne has spent most of her life trying to prove that she can do it all on her own, and, with some minor adjustments, she's done just fine. That is until she has a one-night stand with the incredibly charming Beau, a perfect stranger, and that one night changes everything. While Beau is surprisingly elated to step up to the plate, Wynne finds herself unsure of whether she can handle this new challenge on her own or if she'll need a helping hand. Together, Wynn and Bo decide to get to know one another as friends and nothing more. But, as they both should know by now, life rarely goes according to plan. And there you have it, fellow book lovers. Our journey through the heart-fluttering world of the only one bed trope has come to an end, for now. If any of these stories have captured your heart, or if you've got recommendations of your own, I'd love to hear about them. Drop a comment below, share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed our cozy book chat today and subscribe to Meg's Literary Lounge for more romance-filled adventures. Until next time, keep those bookmarks handy and your tea warm. Happy reading, everyone!